we even discussed, you know, the 72 hour mark, that's the most important because children that are abducted, if we took that abduction theory are, um, um, you know, usually killed within the first 72 hours, primarily within the first 24 hours. And most are killed within three hours of being abducted. If we did that theory, the theory of her being abducted, which is what uh, the Wells uh, sympathizers want everybody to believe, according to them, then she's no longer here. I, I, I'm not one for word salad. I've never been one for word salad. Many of you guys come here um, to hear what is truly going on not the, you know, watered down version. The so we are advocating for the return, uh, the safe return of Summer Wells. But as we know, because of the information that we were able to finally digest, um, this is now uh, most likely being uh, investigated as a homicide versus a missing person case. And it's been um, most likely being investigated as a homicide versus a missing person case uh, within nine days of her missing. So, um, you know, we've got that information from the uh, June 24th um, press conference with TBI, the spokesperson, um, Leslie Earhart. Is the five summer bring her home? And whichever way it goes with, with a suspect or if she's lost in the woods, or whatever, been abducted, whatever. Everything's on the table, and we're not just focusing on one thing. You know, I'm sorry, but in many times, you just can't fix stupid. A square mile is is a much larger terrain than a mile. If you guys don't know, it's a mile, a mile, a mile, a mile, a square mile. And there are a lot of stupid people out there that ha that can't tell the difference between their ass and their watch. I really appreciate you hitting that thumbs up. If this is something that's helping you, it's helping me. And hopefully we can help the families as we continue to go forward together.